side see because it's not I don't move too much oh my bag too which I We're like, we can't stick your butt out. Sorry, Aria. Cannot function anymore. I mean, I did like the workout before this dance. My lungs hurt. There's my half hour of dance. So I danced. I first learned this last Sunday. And I was in so much pain. And Monday I was in so much pain. Like every muscle and everything let's talk about it a little bit oh my gosh let me catch my breath ha ah, pun sort of intended well let's say lose my breath catch my breath I'm like let me catch my breath don't make me lose my breath all right okay i don't know if i'm supposed to sit down like active recovery right active recovery like you can't go all the way from like 100 to zero, like bam, just like slow it down. I need to get a straw because um, my voice teacher, I'm working in circles and I'm like getting dizzy. My voice teacher was telling me how to relax these muscles because these muscles for me are super tense i just dyed my hair oh i really like it i like it it's supposed to be blonde but i like it um i did a good job because this is me i did this not my mom my mom helped me a little bit in the middle but i did it i dyed my own hair okay 
Whew. So you get a straw and you breathe through the straw through your mouth in and out. And that's supposed to disengage these muscles and to breathe from your like where you should be breathing, not from your neck. So or throat. So okay. I really want to drink some more, but I can feel like my chest is like um okay. All right. So Sunday, learned the dance. I did about an hour and a half. It hurt. My neck hurt so much. Every time that I would like do the like things, uh, I could, I literally couldn't, and I couldn't bring my arms up, not even close. Um, I literally couldn't. I was so stiff, like my body is just stiff because it hasn't really moved. And so, um, but I, I did my best without pushing myself too much because I learned my lesson last time. And now I know that last time it was really, I really believe it was like extreme, uh, like post-workout, you know, muscles, sore muscles. Um, so I did, um, Monday I did like 15 minute break at work. I went to this room, filmed it. I went to this room and I just practiced it. I learned it from this other YouTuber because he had all the moves. She, this is her dance captain, and she only showed, I mean, not she, but this video of her teaching uh, these other women, it only showed some of the moves, like pretty much all of the moves, but not quite to learn it, you know? It was more of a showcasing. And so I got, I filled in the gaps basically with his. And then that was all that I used his for. And I use hers now. And then I don't think I danced on Tuesday. When, Tuesday I didn't dance. Wednesday, maybe a little bit. Just literally, I just, yeah. I think I just put the um, slow version and really like went refreshed because I was missing these like two turns um, and I still don't have them down as you saw. And then yesterday I danced to the song. It came on to my Spotify and I danced to it a couple of times last night. And then today you saw I, uh, half an hour ago, I put the slow version and then I went straight into the other ones. And so let me show you. If, well, you saw it in the other video. So like it go, starts from, it starts from like her with all the girls who look so awesome. All of them. And then it goes into just her. Also want her hair. Anyways, so, um, yeah, so I did that. Um, and then I think I just did the first one and I'm like, oh, I should record it. So I recorded it, but, and I did it a few times and then this is like the last recording and I'm tired and I don't want to push myself. So this is not about, this is not a time to push because I want to be able to do this continuously because I feel so much better now. See, like working out doesn't make me feel better like dancing does. Like when I dance and when I accomplish, when right now I was able to do these like things and with my arms and my neck relatively okay, that's like huge progress. That is just so inspiring and motivating and makes me feel really good and gives me sort of like some hope or something to my life you know to keep going so um yeah and I was getting that water I was thinking like Beyonce did this for like 20 some years she, no, I'm sorry. She did this for 30 some years, I think, um, continuously voice lessons 
and dance lessons, all sorts of lessons, all sorts of like I learned the other day, beauty pageants, everything, all of this stuff. Um, yeah, she was groomed, but the thing is, like, we always like secretly we want to be groomed for what we want to do, you know. Um, yeah. I grew up in like, oh, children should have a childhood. And I think there has to be a happy medium between her childhood and my childhood. My childhood was like, there was no forced lessons. Like I used to play the violin. No one in my family was like, no, you, you're getting, you're practicing, you're practicing. They do that with my little brother now. No one told me that. Um, it was like much more relaxed. It was completely relaxed, to be honest. And I think there was a happy medium, you know, but it also that plays into like her parents knew what existed and had a goal, but also just knew what existed. My mom, we all came here and it was all just, you know, like a very different culture we came from where you didn't have this as like a thing to even think about like dance lessons and the goal and like unless i mean and of course like i did not have the same talent that she did with voice with dancing though i did have a talent i remember my ballet teacher when i was really little i went to one class and she was saying that i had a talent for it um because i was like so flexible and i am very graceful i know that i see you i mean just watch uh, all my videos and all that stuff. I have like that flow to my joints and stuff. And that's not me boasting or like being cocky or anything. I know that I don't have the agility for dance, for example. I don't have the power, like the muscles and the power to like lift yourself and move yourself through the movements. I remember trying to do this... Uh, I did go actually to a choreographer when I was like in high school or middle school or something for uh, the talent show. And I'm like, you know, I want to like make a dance to this. And I actually went to a, a dance teacher and she was like, okay, we'll do this choreography. And uh, she made it and it was hard. And I watched myself. I think I had my mom record me or something. And or just like remembering how I couldn't, I looked bad because I was not finishing the lines. If you know dance, you've like heard that, you know, like instead of going like this, I went, I would go like this because I didn't have the agility because I didn't have the muscles. So in my, I like, I know I'm good at it. I just have no practice and no, like I need to actually work at it. So that's where I am now, and that's why I'm doing this, and yeah, life is very topsy-turvy right now. Life is very not good right now, and I'm 33. I feel very like over the hill when it comes to doing something with my life. Because you hear like, oh, you know, Beyonce, all of these people who are like top, they started from babies, basically, you know, all the piano pianists, however you say it, all of the like amazing, talented people, like they had talent, but they also practiced so much and for so many years. And um, and they also practice the right way because I've sang for my whole life, but it, it's been like a little bit of the right instruction and a lot of just me singing and hoping that it'll get better. Um, and yeah, so, um, and I am a lot better, <sighs> but, uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm old and like, all I can think of is like, my life is over, but the other day I gave myself, because I started this, and I'm like, this feels so good, and it feels so right, and why can't I do this? There's no reason why I can't do this. She did it. I know I'm not trying to be Beyonce for many reasons, not just um, because, you know, she has, like, 
20 years ahead of me <laughs> of practice and stuff. Um, and she has a different talent and she has, she has that presence and all that stuff just in her. But it's not only that, it's like we are different people. I have a different idea of what I want as far as image and what I want to do with my life and for people and all that stuff. Um, different missions within and yeah but that's that so it's not that i'm trying to be her it's i feel like i don't know i'm not trying to be her i'm not trying to be anyone i'm trying to be myself but i've been running for myself and i may be so like down at the bottom right now and they say that once you hit rock bottom you, there there's only up to go from there you know you can only go up from there better be true <laughs> i watched this like tarot reader person on online and she was saying how like the first half of our lives my zodiac sign uh, was um rough and like nothing was working you know money relationships all this stuff but this second half it's going to come and like we may not understand or we might not believe that it's going to turn around because all we know is like how it's been and i have been saying that for so long it's weird it's like she's listening to my conversations all the time um because i've been saying that for like weeks or months but definitely weeks um I don't see how it can get better, you know, because I know, first of all, I know I have to do something, but when you can't see how it can get better and you can't see what how, where you're going, you can't also see what to do. How am I supposed to know what to do? Because I don't know where I'm going. You know, how am I supposed to like take a step when I don't know which direction I'm going in? Um, and you hear like Miley Cyrus and Smiley. Smiley is this Armenian singer guy. You hear them say, you know, just take a step and it will be okay. It will work out. Just keep on walking. Um, and you can't lose what you can't have, what you didn't have, and all this stuff. And I also hear that on the other side, people that are practical, like Arena, you need a full-time job, you need a full-time job, and you need to, like, focus on getting a family together and building a life and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, well, building a life to me is very different than what you're suggesting I should build. The life you're telling me to build, I know, will make me a horrible wife, a horrible mother, a horrible worker employee a horrible person a bitter person to be around it's going to make me kind of what i've become i'm not fun to be around i am sad i'm depressed i'm clinically depressed right now and pills are not going to help the only way they can help is how i've been told like just take them so you can like be able to get up off your bed and actually do the steps that you need to do that you want to do but right now because you're so depressed you just can't get up and do them um but i've taken you know my my magnesium it's supposed to like be calming and um and just like placebo effect is good enough too and i've taken like passion flower i haven't taken it yet i'll i don't know, try it today but i know i've taken the tea it didn't really seem to do much but again I believe in it and it will work because I believe in it just the same way like that pills work like yeah they actually change your chemicals but I, they also work because you want them to work well kind of and um and yeah so I am dancing I don't want to I was this close I was like literally like I can't even make this smaller of a gap so close to getting ready to take a pill because i was so depressed two weeks ago before i talked to the person in my life um i was so depressed i was lying in that bed right over there right here my head over here on this pillow i was 
on the phone with my friend and I was thinking before she called and then as we were talking, I was thinking, like, sorry, my thought has other thoughts. Um, I need to, like, become an alcoholic. I need to, like, take some drugs, try something because... I need to numb this. I can't think anymore. I can't feel anymore because it's so much thinking, so much feeling, so much. I can't deal with it and I don't, I can't stop it. And, um, somehow I heard the person's voice actually a day later. And it gave me strength. And I know, like, how many times... How many times do we tell ourselves and we tell other people to not rely on other people and to not, not rely on other people for our happiness? But it's not like that. It wasn't like that. Because I wasn't happy. Hearing their voice didn't make me magically like, okay, everything's all right, you know? Um, I felt very guilty because I had to say some things that... I had to say that we're in the best, we're the prettiest, but um, I do this thing where I push people away. I think we do this more than not all of us. We push people away when we just don't know how to deal with them and we don't know how to deal with ourselves. And it was really... And I knew that and I wanted to tell them that and I think I failed at telling them that. I didn't know how to deal with myself. I didn't know. And I couldn't deal with them either. So, because it was just too much on top of everything else. And I just need a break. And for the past couple of weeks, I've taken a break and I've taken a break from my friendship as well. I just kind of secluded myself. Um, I'm like a dog in so many ways. This is one I remember when my dog, he used to go underneath the bed when he wasn't feeling good. It's like you just need to sometimes just take a break, just take a break, you know? And it was like, complicated along with everything else in there um but that's kind of how it started i just i couldn't deal with everything anymore i just needed everything to stop and uh last week i i got up and just for some reason found this i don't even know how i got to this i've been listening listening to lemonade <laughs> And I think I saw a video, I don't know, through like YouTube search or suggestions or something of this this video for uh, this dance captain. I know her last name is Everett, but I don't remember her first name, sorry. But um, I uh, somehow I'm like, oh, I should like try it out. Just felt inspired and... Um, I feel like I'm I'm finding myself again and I just feel like there's so much you know I, I was trying to avoid truly dealing with everything I've been like reading these books I've been like doing all this self-work and all this stuff um, so it's not that I've been avoiding dealing with myself at all, um, but in a way, I think it kind of hit a point where I'm like, okay, I actually need to put my life on pause. I can't do this simultaneously, like with the person, like I can't figure myself out and put my life back together that it has nothing to do with them while at the same time juggling this like I have to do too many things at once that I just 
can't juggle all of these plates on all of these sticks they're they're crashing they're going to crash really badly so i'm just going to like have to put this to the side like just take it and just put it on the table and just get to it later and um yeah but it's like life it's not that simple it's not like okay cool put this to the side you know and it's i don't have to think about that or you know everything is kind of like intertwined and mixed and all this stuff and yeah through all of this though it's weird i was talking to someone how who's going through a, a tough time themselves and uh, on like a relationship level and um my stomach just like vibrated like that because again i was working out before i did the dance but um they were saying how like they have never talked to their mom as much as they have I can mean for years they haven't talked to their mom as much as they have like recently because of all that's been going on and that's how my mom and I talking again started like we always talk we never stop talking but um if you're lucky to have that kind of relationship and that kind of a mother or a parent doesn't have to be a mom can be a dad whoever a parent a guardian if you have that opportunity they no one will love you as much as they do no one no one no one no one and you won't love anyone as much as you will love your child if you have children um and i see that because like she was saying this to me this morning like <laughs> like <laughs> i don't know how she said it she said it in romanian too like no one could stick by you like i stuck by you basically it was like and that sounds weird in english and it sounds weird you know to say out loud and the way she said it of course was better but like yeah yeah that is true sadly sadly you know because like moms aren't always going to be there and you kind of have to be there for yourself and then your partner has to be there for you too and you have to be there for your partner and um it's like you know you kind of have to spread the love and all that stuff but if you're lucky to have that be lucky to have that you know use it because you're not using your parent i'm not using my mom um and that's the thing you can't use your parent i mean there are people who do or can but it's not like that you know they're just and they're wiser too because they've been through so much like the stuff that she was telling me this morning you know like they've been through stuff too they've been through it even if they haven't been through all the crazy things that you might go through or that you you know this world has gotten crazy um they still go through their own stuff or they might sometimes they go through worse like i remember watching the desperate housewives not this desperate, desperate the housewives of beverly hills and with serena's mom went through some crazy stuff that she never had to go through thankfully you know and like yeah so if you have to drink collagen i love how they say it has no taste it totally has a taste of jello because it's basically that it's kind of gelatin you know it tastes totally like beef sorry i mean you know that's me um but yeah so um it helps to put the magnesium in or some flavor that makes it less like you're drinking meat jello. If you're not Romanian, go to a Romanian. Meat jello is amazing, but it's, I think, an acquired taste or I don't know. I'm surprised if like American say it doesn't have a taste. Like, I don't know where taste buds go here in the US. But, anyways, um, so yeah, said a lot it a lot i wanted to post all of this but then i said a little too much that i wanted to say but at the same time it's like kind of i've been searching for a way to take my voice back because i feel like i've been talked 
for for a long time not directly i don't think anyone's like oh arena said this or arena is doing this or arena thinks this i don't think it's quite like that it might be um but i think i do need to take my voice back i need to take my life back it's not for, from one particular person or source or event or something. It's just I've been laying low for a long time on my choice. And I really think it's time for me to come back and be myself because I can't be myself without being myself. And I kind of feel like people are losing out on me because I can't be myself, because I'm not letting myself be myself, because I think that they want me to be not myself. Does that make sense to people? If it makes sense to you, then be yourself, darling. Be yourself. <laughs> Never said darling before, but here we go. New life, you know, I've been swearing a lot with Beyonce. Not a lot. I only swore like twice. I tried singing along to the one song that has a lot of F words, and it was it was very difficult to sing out loud. I can mouth it. Progress, right? Progress. I don't know if that's that should be progress. Mm. Oh, this feels so good. Because I really need to be hydrating. I need to like return this wax. This wax is bad. It's the Azuline. It's like Gigi. It's Azuline sensitive skin wax or whatever first of all it caused more of a reaction than the other one the tea tree one is what i usually do and that's like really a good wax uh but none of them are perfect especially when you leave your hair to grow way long you know because that's depression for you and also winter um but yeah so yeah need to do that I have a bunch of things to do today. <sighs> that feels better. Making peace with myself, making peace with life, making peace with this other person and the past and letting the past be in the past, not dr dredging it. Go. Dragging it. Dragging it back. Um, you can't escape your past and you can't put a band-aid over it and pretend like oh now I can you know I can just move on and just be different without facing the past but um at the same time you don't have to like drag it and like really live it and I've learned that through this person that they allowed me to like try something out try something a new way of dealing with the past a more positive way a way where let's get together let's talk about it but let's not talk about it let's not like argue about it let's just like meet on nice ground or I don't know you know um and that's like that takes a lot of knowledge wisdom trials experience love um and not just romantic love when I say love I really do mean love you know it can come up romantically it can come up another way but love is love you can't really box it up and say oh you know because i think that's a, that's missing out on so much if you're like oh i don't love you romantically so i don't love you like no no let's love all of us let's love each other um spread love and be love and Hmm. I think it becomes dysfunctional when it's specifically romantic. I think romance is separate, if that makes sense. 
you hear you hear like the best couples say we're well, we're best friends first and i think that doesn't mean that you're like literally best friends first and then later down the road you become romantic sometimes sometimes not but it's like at the core like we like each other <laughs> at the core we're friends at the core we're like family we're not romantic partners and i think that's what i always um try to kind of say when i would would say like you know it's not about sex before marriage is bad it's just basically like establishing a relationship with each other of respect and love and friendship and things that don't get broken because sex can be broken sexuality can be broken and i don't know if youtube will like cut me off on this but um i don't know i i lost track i lost track of youtube in general but like so many things can contribute if if your relationship is based only on sex then it will fall apart and i always feared even like the other day i was thinking like you know that's that's how people are together that's how people get together that's how people stay together because they have sex with each other and if they don't they fall apart unless they're you know um religious and they just have that idea of like no sex before marriage or whatever which i think gets very unhealthy um because it's not about certain rules i never believed in like you know well, like okay now time's up let's have sex like, <laughs> no like it should flow and it should like be organic but the same thing like it shouldn't be forced earlier than it needs to be or later than it needs to be and gosh darn it we're like complicated creatures i'm thinking back like no like don't drag the past but we're complicated creatures darn it so complicated i didn't believe a week ago a weekend ago i didn't believe that i would be in the, where i am right now so i really kind of want to post this out because i really didn't believe i would be in this state right now of like happiness and joy centeredness and love independently too like it's, i don't know why that needs to be stressed so much as it is um but i guess i have to like make sure that i say that because the more details the more you can like touch the nuances of things because people will say something and without the new ones, anyone will take it, you know, in so many different ways. That's why I say so many details and talk so much. Also, like, it's this personality thing. I want short answers, but I say long ones. Go figure. Mm. This is very good. But it's also very difficult to drink out of this. But yeah. Cool. So I want to talk more. And I I want to talk more. But I need to. I'm like excited. I need to clean all of this up. <laughs> so much. So much. Yay. Um, I need to clean all of this up. And clean all of this up. And I really want to go to the container store tomorrow. My mom says she's free in the morning. Really, really want to go. A year ago, we were driving by and I saw the container store. It's in Beachwood for everyone living in Cleveland. And it was like beautifulness. It was like, oh, it's like Disneyland came to Cleveland. <laughs> because i've been trying to go for years it was in new york and i all my friend used to live there and or ex-friend she used to talk about it all the time and i was like oh my gosh i have to go i have to go oh you're so lucky and i went to new york once and i i drove past it in a taxi and i could not stop and i kept saying like i'll come tomorrow i'll come tomorrow and i never went back and i felt so upset oh 
but now it's in Cleveland. So I'm excited. It's so much better than Ikea, I think, but we'll see. I'll film and I'll post. There you go. But yeah, I want to put kind of everything in boxes and just start fresh because I've been trying to like, oh, I need to go through them and sort them and blah, 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 blah. And you can see it's not going so well. I used to put them all in here, but they're clearly not ideal. And like poems and all this like stuff. Like these are old stories that I used to write. I mean, some of the things very minimally I'm going to keep, but all of the little things need to go. Simplicity and focus on what's important. Focus on like centering my life and like glowing. Like I'm like getting ready like a bull, like, you know, going like that. I don't know. Or like a horse, I'm just getting ready to like just go and just like go like the wind, like the horse I am. So yeah oh, life i should mention that i've tried to say this i am going to post this like right now because if i don't i will chicken out but i should say that i've tried to post all of these like comeback videos like oh you know it's been a long time blah 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 blah, blah. can't believe it's one o'clock oh my gosh anyways um and i never felt right but now it feels right and now i feel like I need to get this moving. I feel confident that I know where my life is heading, sort of. Um, I feel confident that I know what I need to do for myself, for my best life. And I feel safe. I feel calm and safe. I feel like everything is going to be all right. I don't know what that is, but it's going to do that. Um, and when I was not all right, I always have this feeling like it's okay to crash arena. It's okay to go down all the way down and just, it's okay. I'm, you know, put yourself together and come back. You know, we sometimes need time to move away, sort through our things and come back when we're put together that's kind of actually like the other attachment style that i have than the one that i have it's like the opposite one where like they go away and they come back like okay cool everything's cool and the other person my style is like no everything is not cool we didn't talk about this we didn't figure this out nothing's solved and they're like what are you talking about because they kind of like they like, pushed it down while they were away and like put on the shield again and everything's happy um and they think that's like solving it so it's not quite like that you shouldn't do that but you should like take time when you really can't deal with it you don't have to sometimes you have to but sometimes you are able to take a pause take a break and just be with yourself and just be with your thoughts and just be with you and not owe anyone anything and that's what i needed the last few weeks i did not i needed to stop owing people to be happy i needed to stop owing people to be good to be not depressed to be um positive I have so much pressure to be positive, you know, Arena, you're, why can't you be positive? Laugh more, be happy, blah, blah, blah. Like, do you think I don't want that? <laughs> um, and, you know, I stop owing people to, to forgive, um, to be patient, to be understanding to my, th my, my tooth hurts. It shouldn't hurt. Um, I think it's like, yeah, in between. To um, be there for them, to um, work hard. Sometimes, you, you know, you need to stop owing people to do all of that and more. Whatever you feel pressured. Sometimes it has to be all about you. And um, not, don't take it to the extreme ever. It, either way, don't self-sacrifice to the extreme. Don't be um, completely all about you to the extreme, although I can do both at the same time. Uh, but don't 
don't close yourself off from being generous to people and to life and to society to the extreme but sometimes take care of yourself like you have to take care of yourself i actually listened to this wonderful youtube video that i will maybe link in the bottom um about it's the cookie like semi-religious stuff but um it was like really wonderful if you really kind of understand it and it can be kind of tough to hear it was tough for me to hear because like being in the receiving mode versus giving of yourself until you get depleted but if you're in receiving mode where that means like you are equally open to receiving as giving then you never get depleted but if you're just giving because other people want and just giving but you're not willing to receive then you will feel like oh my gosh i just keep giving and everyone keeps taking and you know no one gives me anything i just end up being neglected and taken advantage of then um you know like that's what happens because or like you feel that way or and you kind of also at the same time end up not giving anything to people because you're so closed off so it's kind of like that more be in the receiving mode don't be in the giving mode and just being in the in the like neutral mode just be a vessel that sounds weird a lot of people might not question that but you know whatever um and yeah i need to also stop preaching as much um, uh, but because I wasn't trying to preach, I was just trying to like share what I figured out and what I learned. I feel like dancing one more time and drinking this whole bottle. Um, so yeah, anything else? I want ten dollars with the ten dollar. I mean, I literally just so there's this this ticket thing um ohio lottery whatever and i paid ten dollars for it i did not know because i would have not bought a ten dollars scratch off but <laughs> yeah I, I bought it and uh, it is kind of tempting though to see the prizes i'm like oh i can get like two words here and three words there and win like you know five hundred thousand dollars but um right being in the receiving mode <laughs> yeah um but yeah i want it back which is awesome because that's literally i'm like just because i did not know this was ten dollars i'm like just at least let me win it back let me win the ten dollars at least let me win that back so i did okay cool well i'm going to go i'm gonna stop because the more i talk the more i say stuff and before it's time and i think i said a lot it's 47 minutes cool have a wonderful day i will dance for you one more time and i will uh, keep you in touch we will um go down this road together sometimes and sometimes we won't but i know that keeping things to myself is not ideal for me but also sharing everything is also not ideal for me and i am very happy and i'm full of love and i'm full of joy right now and i want to keep it that way and it feels great and it feels like i'm home in this feeling it feels like finally I'm, I'm home this is my home this is where i feel like i've always lived in but i kind of went away and now i'm back and um I want to share that and I want to open this journey to other people because it might help. No one watches these, but um, that's a good and a bad thing, you know. But if someone does watch it and sometimes it gets to like the per right person, then all the better. My legs are like spaghetti. Completely. Uh. Okay, cool. Let's see. What about the fast one? Also, because of the music, the copyright music, I'm supposedly not, this might not even show up, so. Oops, sorry. I mean, I'm not to get into it.
All right. Cool. I'm not, as you saw, I'm not doing the this yet because taking it slow. Did it a little bit. And also this thing. I'm getting a massage Wednesday. Yes. Okay. To like loosen things up. I'm I'm dedicated, y'all. We will do this. 52 minutes. I'm going to stop here because I like 52 verses an hour. Have a wonderful day. Bye.